Hi everyone, it's Heather here with Best Laid Plans and I have the part two of my winter collection, Happy Planner Haul. These arrived just in time for the holidays and they arrived thankfully before our town experienced quite a whiteout um, type event. The roads have been impassable, everyone's kind of stuck inside, um, so I wasn't sure if they'd get here. Certainly was not in any rush at all for them to get here, um, we'll say. I know that it's really hard right now um, for packages from a lot of places um, just for them to arrive in time for the holiday. So um, I wasn't expecting them to arrive. Happy they did arrive. Could have withstand um, waiting a little bit longer to get this video up. I just have a couple things. I mentioned that I was getting the new zip portfolio and also some guided journals um, as well as the new water bottle so i've received all those items and i'm going to share those with you one by one i'm going to go ahead and um, move this out of the way and we'll start with the guided journals so i have already taken out a few months of these just because i am using them in my franken planned journal um, which i'll have up pretty soon, but I've got the Stay Strong and Be Kind and then Trust in the Magic. And they feature these princesses. So this one has Pocahontas, Merida, and Rapunzel. This has Jasmine, Belle, and Mulan. And I just think these are really beautiful. Um, so this is, this month here has Belle, for instance, and it's wellness oriented. So it's got a week and then it has individual reflection pages for the different days and you get six months worth. So I've taken, there's, I've taken two months out of this one and I think I've taken another two out of this one um, already. And this one says, stay strong and be kind. Here's Merida. Um, these are undated, so you can kind of use them whenever you want to. And then this is really gratitude and, I guess, thoughtfulness more oriented. So it says, how did I show myself kindness? What is strengthening my mind? How has kindness been shown to me today? So that's what these look like. And there's pages for journaling um, and this one I um, also it comes within the back with some unique filler paper just blank that has the princesses on it this says let your soul and spirit fly so it's got some dot grid there and a line page here so you get a fair amount of those and then this did not come with this particular planner I mean journal sorry um, but at the back of this one, I have put some of the filler paper that I have purchased. Here it is. Um, and this was purchased separately from this. So this is the filler paper that was part of the Disney Princess Collection. Um, I will mention that some of the items here I was not able to get from Happy Planner directly. So I did purchase them other places. So I purchased this particular um particular filler paper from Joann's. I also purchased the gold version of the Disney Princess disc that I showed last time from Joann's. And then this journal is actually available as part of a box kit and it was sold out on the Happy Planner website. So I did end up purchasing this directly from Walmart where the collection was initially released. And it did come with some additional items um, that were just exclusive to the kit. And I'm gonna pull out my Franken journal just to show you. Um, so it came with this Pocahontas Be Strong and Courageous snap on globe, which I'm just putting in this pocket here right now. And then it also came with this bookmark that says create your own beauty and it's got Rapunzel. So, um, as well as some sticker sheets, which I put inside of this envelope. Let's pull those out. I did like that they made the sticker sheets the size of the envelope with this because it just makes it easier to keep them on hand if you want to use them with the journal. So you've got Merida, Rapunzel, 
and Pobotus. So just those three. And that was it for um, the journals. I don't think that they had any others for the Disney princesses. I would have loved for them to have a guided journal that had Tiana, Ariel, and um, Aurora just to go with everything else that I had. But I'm pretty happy with the ones that were released. I think they're really, really good. And since I have this open, I'll go ahead and show you. I'm going to go into further detail about my, my journal setup um, in another video. But... I have my custom Valkyrie Plans cover here with Minnie Mouse that I did receive in the mail as well. So I will go over everything in here on a separate video because it will take too long. So in addition to the guided journals, they have this Biz Babe daily pad and it has 100 sheets in it, which is a very good amount. And I thought that this would be really good for work. I had previously used um, like a weekly pad, which is something that they do offer right now, part of the, the new winter line. Um, but I just felt that this was a lot more conducive to what I wanna do in terms of taking down things for work. This is just something helpful. I don't know yet if I'll take this off or if I will just tear it off as I go through the day and then store it as needed, but it was a good deal and I had rewards. So I did want to go ahead and get it because it sold out and then it came back. Well, that's all of those. So the next thing I have is the pet folio and I was not going to get this originally, but I thought about it and I thought about disc bound planners I've had in the past. And one of the things is it can be hard to protect them when they're in your bag. Even if you have like a, a bag specifically for planner, the wear and tear of it just kind of bouncing around openly, it's not good for any kind of planner, um, spiral bound, disc bound, whatever. But I felt like I needed something to just make it extra protected and something wasn't necessarily conspicuous looking. And this really fits the bill. It is very pretty. It's faux leather. It has this gold trim. So it's sort of business on the outside, but party on the inside. <laughs> we have this mint green and this beautiful, like almost polka dot heart black and white pattern. Um, and I have a little pen here right now just to show you. There's the pen loop. And I was a little apprehensive with buying this at first because I wasn't sure if this was going to fit my extremely large extender disc deluxe cover planner. So here it is. This is my 2021 setup. I have big keychain. Um, I have a pen. Now I don't know if this pen I have right here will still fit, but um, because I tried before and it, it did zip up, but it was not really great. So I might put this like over here or something for the time being, or I could slip it in here even because it will fit there too. Um, so again, I have a lot of stuff in this planner. I've got full extender to Caesar metal. I have the deluxe cover. I haven't tucked the cover in or anything. It's just sitting up here and I am going to close this and zip it so you can see that it will zip over a really big planner. So here's the side. Let's see. So it's definitely a little more snug of a fit um, than if you had a regular size classic planner or a skinny classic or a mini in there. But as you can see, it zips fully, it's not pulling at all. On like the seams right here. And I could probably comfortably fit maybe a sticker book or two and some other accessories in here. I'm actually gonna see if I can put my big block pad in here. 
Because the idea would be I would be taking this with me to work so I could have everything at work. So I don't know if I can fit the whole block pad, but... Alright, so could not fit this big block pad, so that's like, this is 100 pages, but if I had like a, just took like 20 pages, or I had like a small snicker, snickerdoodle, I'm very hungry, <laughs> I have Christmas cravings, sorry, a sticker book, that would, um, that would fit in here, so very excited about that, and getting to try that when I eventually travel with my planner again. Haven't been doing that lately, but it's good to have that. So the PS de Resistance is this Corksicle brand Happy Planner bottle. And you guys, this thing is beautiful. It is dishwasher safe. Hallelujah. And it, I have to like zoom out a little bit. Hold on. She can't, it's, it's big. It's a big water bottle and it's designed. So like I, I've been like pretty, pretty well smacking this thing around. And as you can see, it has just stayed. And then it has, sorry, the cork top. I'm going to take this out and it just twists and then pulls out. And this is designed to keep your um, cold beverages cold, your hot beverages hot. And I have been wanting one of these for a while. I am a really big water drinker. You'll never see hydration trackers in my planner because I drink water I uh, pretty much all the time. Probably would get through maybe possibly 10 of these in a day. And I'm, I'm not even exaggerating, I just drink a lot of water. Um, so it wasn't out of a desire to drink more water, but just I wanted something that was easier to clean. Um, I've been using a bottle with a straw and um, it's not spill proof. It is difficult to clean, I have to wash it by hand. So um, I wanted to get this and then I did want to decorate it with the waterproof vinyl stickers. And, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, this sticker, which is um, another vinyl sticker, this was a special sticker that came with that black zip portfolio. So that's where this came from. This was not in the vinyl stickers I'm about to show you. So I bought the Miss Maker collection. And I was kind of hopeful that this meant they were going to bring back the Miss Maker line, but I think they just brought back these because she was very popular. So these are the ones I know I'm going to be putting on my bottle. But I'm going to go ahead and show you that um, they also have the Been There Pin That, paint brushes, yarn, the little heart pin cushion, and the sewing machine. And these are a decent size. And again, these are waterproof vinyl stickers. So, yeah, peel and stick, waterproof, scratch resistant. So you can use these to decorate your bottle. Um, and I'm going to be decorating my bottle using these as well as some really cool vinyl stickers that I purchased. I purchased this one from Amazon um, and then I purchased this from a Etsy seller and it is Bugs Bunny Brunhilde. I, I had to have it. <laughs> um, so I'll have a different video where I go through and I decorate my water bottle with you guys. So that really was everything that I had been waiting for for the winter collection. And um, one thing I will note is that I did receive this inside of a package and it doesn't look like there's oh, me knocking the camera. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, one of the discs, it has some discolorations and I may reach out to Happy Planner to see if 
it can replace the disc for me. Um, I'm pretty sure that it got those in shipping. I don't have those on any other planners that I receive, um, which is good. So it looks like it was just an issue with this one. I'll see if I can get that replaced. If not, it's not a huge issue. I'll probably just move this ring down to the bottom. But that was one thing that I did notice with this one when it arrived that it had that damage. But other than that, I didn't have any issues. Everything looks great. I'm really excited to use these. I think that this is going to be a very functional piece for me in the future. Uh, comment below and let me know what your favorite item was from this haul. If you have the journals, have you started them yet or are you starting them in the new year? I will have more 2021 planner setup videos coming in the next week. We'll have those soon and I look forward to seeing you then. Please subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.